It seems like a strange time of year to get sick, but Lee Health says that's exactly what's happening. I'm Fox 4's community correspondent, Dominga Murray, and I just sat down with one of the health system's doctors who says COVID is peaking yet again right here in Lee County. Our last peak as far as COVID was concerned um, was in January, and we're seeing a similar peak now. Dr. Stephanie Stavall specializes in infectious diseases and is taking a look at how many people are testing positive for COVID-19 in Lee County. It had been around 5 to 10 percent from, say, March until end of May, early June, and then it bumped up to 20%. Now it's at 35%. So those kinds of things can give us an early warning of, hey, it's coming, you're about to see more because it is so contagious. Exact case count is not out for July, but take a look at this chart. In June, there were 1,838 reported positive cases, when in May, there were about 1,000 less positive cases. We do know that last year in August, cases did spike right around back to school time. Dr. Stavall says the severity of people's sickness is like it has been for the last couple of years. Aches, pains, fever for a few days to a week. It seems to be... Um, increasing slower in the last few days compared to the last two weeks. So hopefully we're about to hit that peak and start on the downhill slide. Now, Dr. Stavall says how long you stay out of work or school after testing positive heavily depends on what you do and who you're around. It's so person dependent that from a public health perspective, you kind of have to give the guidelines and let people police themselves. She says for many jobs, it's perfectly fine to go back to work after your fever goes away with no medication. Reporting in Lee County, Dominga Murray, Fox 4.